I think the, uh, the personal image of God is there, but with all religious sim Im imagery, you need to look through it. Uh, it's meant to, meant to be transparent, and you look through it to s glimpse the transcendence beyond, that goes beyond words. I think what God, the, what God is supposed to do for us is take us outside ourselves. Um, and make us realize that we are in the presence of immensity. Um, Einstein said something similar, uh, that when you're to be in the presence of something that is uh, beyond what we could grasp, and he was talking about the indeterminate universe he had discovered, uh, is the sublimest joy. And he who does not experience this is as good as dead. Uh, that there should be a sense of absolute awe um, and I think, too, we see the divine in other people. Um, and that, um, the, that, that heads the Hindu thing. And I think what, one of the meanings of incarnation is that you can't think God without thinking human, and you can't think human without thinking God. We find the divine in one another. And uh, there's, a, there's a Muslim mystic who says that and, and once, you th once you have the sense of that, sense of the sacredness of each person, you can't stigmatize them or jeer at the, their religion or, or God forbid, kill or maim. Uh, when that sense of the sanctity of the individual is totally lost, you get Auschwitz. The Muslim mystic says that every single one of us is a unique and unreplaceable uh, revelation of God to the world, that God has spoken and his hid, uh, one of his hidden names into each one of us. And that's an exercise in reminding you, uh, if you think of everybody here as uh, representing and enshrining a particular notion of God, uh, uh, then it shows us how impossible it is to sum God up in any way. And then he, there's this quotation that I found very, he said this wonderful thing. He's, he was 13th century mystic, and I found this quite early in my studies, and it has always resonated with me against, it's, it's, uh, against sort of religious chauvinism. He says, do not praise your own faith so exclusively that you disbelieve all the rest. If you do this, you will miss much good. Nay, you'll fail to realize the real truth of the matter. God, the omnipresent and omniscient, cannot be confined to any one creed. For he says in the Quran, wheresoever ye turn, there is the face of Allah. Everybody praises what he knows. His God is his own creature, and in praising it, he praises himself. Consequently, he blames the beliefs of others which he would not do if he were just, but his dislike is based on ignorance. <laughs>